So once you've set your assignments, you can come in here and you can grade them, you can mark them. So in the top right, I go to view grades and I can see all the homework that's been returned back to me. Um, I can filter this by who's viewed the work, who's handed it in and who's not yet reviewed it. And I can click on an individual student's piece of work. And I can see what work she's done. I could put some comments on the Word document itself. Um, and I can give them some official feedback and points in the right hand panel. And I can return the work back to them. And then all I do is I move on to the next student. Or I just press the next option, it'll go straight to the next student. And again, I can do the same thing. I can put, put in some feedback, put some points, return it back to them. So really quick and easy to mark that work. If you have used a, a rub, Rubik to, um, to grade the work, I'll just show you what that looks like as well. Uh, let me find one that's uh, using that. Here you go, here's a rubric we've used. So it's really similar. Again, you can annotate that Word document. I can give them some official feedback. But when I come to mark it, all I do is select the criteria that that student's met. And you can see it's adjusting the mark as I select the different criteria. So creativity might be good. And then I move on to spelling and grammar. And that might be, you know, fair. And you can see it's automatically marked it. I can even give them a comment on that particular criteria. And again, return it back to the students. They'll get an instant notification on their phone or tablet. So they'll have instant feedback um, as well as the points that they achieved. So as a teacher, when I finish marking or maybe at the end of term and I want to export all the grades for all the assignments I've set this group throughout that academic year, I can press export to Excel and this will create an Excel spreadsheet and it'll create a column for every assignment that I've set this group throughout that academic year with all their grades in there as well.